In this new VR game you can make a weapon out of anything. Yes, literally anything you can find around the map. I'm talking about Requisition VR. I was lucky enough to get access to an early build of the game that is coming out in early access on the 20th of October on Steam and I must say that this is said to be the best co-op zombie game in VR. Requisition VR is a survival co-op zombie game where you will have to take on the Walking Dead with any weapon you can find in the map, with the possibility to combine the object to create really insane weapons. The only limit is your imagination. Requisition VR has in fact the best and most genius crafting mechanic that I've ever seen in a VR game and probably in any game in general. With a simple duct tape and some creativity you can combine anything you find laying around. The great thing about this mechanic is that every gameplay feels different. You will want to go back inside to experiment and try to create something different every time. I think I found myself playing the most in the sandbox mode rather than the story mode or any other modes. Requisition VR features a story mode with quests to complete to finish the map, a sandbox mode where you will have all the freedom you need to experiment with the game features and it also has some pvp that match mode and more to come. The best thing is that everything is playable in online co-op up to 4 players. In Requisition VR you can also customize your character how you prefer with a vast variety of clothing and skins for your survivor. Besides crafting insane weapons, the game offers also some classic guns, rifles, shotguns, a katana, hatchets, baseball bats and probably anything you can think of is going to be in the game or at least will be added in the future. You can also barricade windows, craft bombs and traps to make you feel like Kevin McAllister in Home Alone. The game is gonna be out on the 20th of October in early access on Steam and it's gonna be available only on PC VR for now but the developers already announced that they are bringing the game to the Quest 2 standalone. I could talk about Requisition VR for hours but for now I hope you'll enjoy some gameplay of the story mode of Requisition VR. Okay I wanna clear inside a little bit. Hey! Jesus! Okay. Aya! Bastard! I need to drink now. I need to eat. White. Headshot. I have to go with the headshot. A little bit difficult sometimes. Well, you're probably gonna see some bugs uh, because this is an early access. Not even early access, it's like an early build. It's a build before early access. And the game is gonna come out on the 20th of October. And they're gonna fix a lot of bugs before. Sometimes they go through doors, for example. Oh, Jesus Christ! Piece of shit! I got so scared. Okay, I need to go upstairs. Hello! Should be someone here, okay. Ah, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Okay. Ooh, nice. Hello? Oh, yeah. Chichone. Batman here. Okay. And we also found a quest item, battery. These, with this one. Ooh, I'm gonna make something special. Ooh, food. Give me food. Okay, in the backpack. There's a weapon there, but I don't want to use fire weapons. I want to use crafted items. Ooh, toaster. Nice. Ooh, hello. Okay, I want to craft something. I want to craft something weird. But I'm going to show you how to craft, because at the beginning it was a little bit complicated to understand how the crafting was working. So, for example, I have this uh, hanger, and I want to attach some knives on top. So when you grab an item and you press the X button on the left controller and the A button on the right controller, it's gonna give you some points. If they are blue like this, you put it in place and then take the tape on your chest and wrap it around and you have it. So cool. And it stays there. But the more items you attach, then the durability of the weapon is gonna be really, really low. There are also some special weapons. If you grab one of the special items, and you press the A button in this case, you can attach something at the end, and that's another object. In this case, it's like the, the torch, the fire torch. And then if you put them together, with some duct tape, you're gonna have a flame drawer. I'm gonna also make another weapon. I honestly saw this in the trailer and I always wanted to try it. You take a toaster, you put some uh, cutlery inside, knives, forks, I think also pieces of metal, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Anything sharp and short and then you can shoot it into zombies. Amazing. If you have a plumbus, you can put it together of course and in this case I can also probably make it as a shooting mace and put it together here with some duct tape and now you have a hammer. Can I shoot? No, I cannot shoot anymore. But this is beautiful. Really beautiful. 
Let's take our battery. You need some kind of battery to open the door. Yeah, I open. There should be Bitch, one and zombies are coming. I want to try the hammer. Nice. Shut up. You're dead. Yeah, I want to try to make something. Uh, I need some knives. I want to make a chair with knives in the end. I need more knives. La. Amazing. Look, look at this thing. I always wanted to try this. If there would be a zombie apocalypse. I think it's really useful. Okay, these are the crafty stations for traps and bombs. I'm gonna make some traps. I need some wood. Okay, something rubbery. I think this is wood, right? Okay, something with metal. Something electronic. I don't need you. So you can go inside. I need something heavy. Ooh! I think I found a good item. A wrench. Let's put a pendulum here. You go inside from here. And activation. I'm gonna place it here. That's gonna swing. In the head. Precisely in the head of the zombie. I could probably put something here when they come up. I'm gonna put the activation right in the front. Quests. We have to barricade windows. So, you either take logs and put it in place. I think I saw another log here. Two more logs. Or you can also use wooden shards. And if you have your hammer in your hand and you just reach over your uh, backpack, you're gonna take automatically wooden shards and just place it. So it's really quick. And then you put the needles and that's it. Like you made a okay. bit of noise. They're coming. And they tell me they there are, are coming. a bunch of zombies headed your way. Hey, come here, bitch. I can stun them and then hit them. Easy. But one came out from the house. Come back, you bitch. Take the trap. Aya, porca troia. The trap doesn't work. There are too many. You burn, motherfuckers. Ah, you die. Okay. Ooh, hello. Traps, traps. Work, please. Work there. Or maybe I have to activate it. Oh, hello. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Now, I need to understand why these things don't work. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Ah. But I'm stupid. I have to press it. Oh shit. Okay, so we know. Next time. So if I press it, look. It's gonna work. So cool. Guess we're gonna go with a katana then. Oh my. Aya. Ooh. Okay. I'm still alive and well. Oh, hello. Come on. You didn't hit me. It's wireless attack. Bluetooth. They have powers. They're dangerous. No, no. The bitch with the, with the insects. Bia. I need to eat some food, please. Can I eat more? Yeah. I can. I'm eating. Come on. Ooh, yep. Dodge. Oh my. Oh my. Too many. Ah, yes. This is what you deserve. Whew. Okay. God damn. Nice. In your shoes, I would have shot myself already. Yes, shotgun. Okay, I like the shotgun actually. Ooh, how did I miss it? I don't have much left. Katana, a flamethrower. Amazing. Ooh.
Ah, uh, there you are, bitch. Head. Headshot. Headshot. Chop. Oh, wait. Come here, come here. Get inside. One by one. Okay. Just a little bit more. I think three or four more. This one jumping around again. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Done. Each one of their limbs moved on. I seriously love this game. Every time I play, I'm always creating something new. It's amazing. I cannot wait for it to come out on the 20th of October in early access. And also, if you're looking for another survival game, check out this video here. I don't know. It's going to be somewhere here. It's really amazing. And it's available on Quest 2 and on PC VR. But thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.